According to OSHA, in 2014, 349 out of 874 worker deaths were because of falls. Having knowledge of fall prevention can help <laughs> sorry, can help decrease the number of deaths each year. A standard safety harness is inspected by the American National Standards Institute and can withstand up to 310 pounds of pressure. A standard safety harness must be used whenever you're working on a job that is above six, six feet. The tools I will be using today are safety glasses, work pants, a short sleeve shirt, steel toe boots, hard hat, and a safety harness. Whenever you're working on a job site, having proper clothing is very important. You must wear safety glasses to protect from things that may fall in your eye, like pieces of wood or metal. You must wear a hard hat to protect from things that may fall. You may wear a short sleeve shirt to make sure that your sleeves don't get caught in any machine. And steel toe boots to protect your feet from stuff that may fall on your foot or things that you may step on. Now that you're properly dressed for your job, you have to put on your safety harness. To put on your safety harness, lay it out, hold the safety harness by the D-ring, which will later connect to the fall rope, take your shoulder straps and put it on over your shoulders just like a jacket. The next step is to take the leg strap and buckle it over your thigh to ensure that your legs are safe. Your next step would be to fasten, I mean to tighten the, the belt so that you're definitely secure in case of a fall. At this time, if a waist strap is present, fasten the waist strap. On this one, there is not a waist strap present. Fasten the chest strap. And tighten. You will then make sure that the D-ring is in the middle of your back and is in the upward position. Connect the lanyard to the D-string must be fastened to an anchorage point that can withstand a thousand pounds of pressure or more. The shock absorbers on the fall rope make sure that the safety harness doesn't break in case of a fall. Once the shock absorber is released, the safety harness is no longer good. <coughs> a safety harness expires within five years even if the safety even if the shock absorbers are not released. To recap. Hold the safety harness by the D-ring. Make sure the D-ring is in between the shoulder blades and in the upwards position. Buckle the leg straps and tighten. Buckle the chest strap, and if there is a waist strap present, buckle the waist strap. Tighten all the straps so that you can be sure that you will be safe in case of a fall. This, this is how the safety harness should look after every step. The safety harness may be a reason why you, a family member, or a friend is alive today. Be sure to take care of all the steps when you're doing the safety harness so you can get full protection. This concludes my job skills demonstration.